you're a decision away from the life that you dreamed of. Oh, ouch. Yo, so what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then let me introduce myself first. I am Gabriel Manuel. I make videos about personal growth, finance, and aesthetics. I also upload university vlogs and interviews with people from all walks of life. Interesting? Then like my videos, click that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for you to stay updated. Alright, let's begin. So in today's video, we'll be talking about Richard Koss, The 80-20 Principle Book. I, I don't know how to pronounce it right. It's Richard Koss or Richard Koss. I don't know. Eh, just search on the web, guys. You know what I'm saying? Ang importante yung libro, di ba? Anyway, I'll be talking about the top four lessons that I learned after reading his book, which is the 8020 principle. Gab, we miss your crypto vids. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, 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 back. Da 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 da. Never say never. And never say never. Of course, I will bring it back, baby. It just happened that. I'm books behind the one book per month challenge now then so that's why I'm trying to catch it up you know so basically this book is the book for the month of March so maybe next week a eh, crypto videos na naman ulit yung gagawin natin are we cool goods ba tayo dyan? goods na goods like G U D bisaya lang malakas <laughs> anyway Why am I explaining this to you guys? Jawa ko ba kayo? Jawa ko ba kayo? Jawa ko kayo? Jawa ko kayo? Same. These jokes. What are we waiting for? Ba? Let's get into it now, you know? But before we start, disclaimer lang. I'm not a financial nor a personal growth advisor, so please don't take my videos as professional advice. All of these are just based on my own researches and own experiences lang. So, I highly recommend pa rin to do your own research before diving into something completely new to you. Deal? All right. Let's begin. So, let us first define the principle itself, you know? What is 80-20 principle nga ba? Ano nga ba yun? Ano nga ba? Gab, ano nga ba? Ulit ulit, ulit ulit, ulit ulit, ulit ulit, ulit ulit. Anyway, so the 80-20 principle also known as the Pareto principle. Pareto or Pareto. Ito yung spelling niya guys. I guess it's Pareto principle. States that the 80% of the result is caused by the 20% of the action. So in very simple terms, this can be translated into a few things are important and most of the things are not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So enough of the appetizers, let's proceed to the main dish, mates. Right? So here's my top four lessons that I learned after reading the book. Coming at number one, a small percentage of your efforts produces majority of your satisfaction. So it means that kung ganito kahaba yung effort na binigay mo sa isang bagay, then this is the only effort needed para magawa mo yung isang bagay na yun to satisfy you. Yeah, something like that. Number two, a few critical decisions in your past are responsible for where you are today. So, I don't know if you guys read this. Basta nabasa ko lang to sa Instagram. Uh, may, may quotes kasi doon. Tapos sinabi doon na, you're a decision away from a life you dreamed of. Wala, medyo, medyo malalim siya. And at the same time, powerful na quote for me. Since like, it's true naman, di ba? Na... We're always saying that our life is a mess. Now we are a disaster in itself. You know, pero like kapag iisip niyo talaga, gets niyo yung point na ang raming bagay na kapag yun ang pinili natin, eh, baka we're living the life we dream na. You know, I don't know. Personal take lang ulit. Like nung 2018 upkat, I decided na chikan yung UP Visayas as my first campus and. Pangalawa yung Diliman. Although, 
yung heart ko, sinasabi talaga na gusto ko magdiliman. So, Gab, ang stupid mo naman. Bakit mo ginawa yun? Wait lang siya, wait lang siya. Let me explain myself first, okay? So, so bakit nga ba ginawa ko yun? Kasi, I was thinking na hindi ako galing sa STEM, you know? I'm an, I'm an ICT student. So, I was thinking na yung exam ay heavy in terms of math and science, which is hindi ko forte that time. Until now, hindi ko naman 40 yung math and science. Although. So, ayun, inisip ko kasi na limited lang yung slots, yung number of students na makakapasa every year. So, what if kapag UP Diliman yung first priority campus ko, tapos it happened na hindi ako pumasa doon, and na-check na lahat ng papers, and nag-exceed na sa number of students na ipapasa nila that year, then I'll end up na hindi makakapasok sa UP. So, yun yung reason ko bakit first campus ko na chinikan ay UP Visayas. You know, maybe, in a way, valid yung reason ko kasi like, yun nga, non-STEM ako. And, hindi, hindi, uh, hindi advance yung math and science ko. Tapos, yun. Pero like, pero the thing is, hindi ako nagtiwala sa sarili ko. You know what I'm saying? So, ayun, nakapasa nga ako, UP Visayas. Yay! So, sabi nila na mag-wait lang ng one year, then tsaka na ako makaka-transfer sa Diliman. Tapos yun, after one semester, nag-release na ng mga, I don't know if, it's it's not GWA, it's like APG, something like that, na makikita mo yung mga test results mo sa UPCAT, parang ganun. And it happened na pagkakita na pagkakita ko. Man, if I chose UP Diliman back then, then sana nasa Diliman ako ngayon. Kasi, kasi pasok naman talaga. Yun. Yun yung take ko sa number two lesson na to, which is a few decisions in your past are responsible to where you are today. So, that's one, that's one, you know. What if nagtiwala ko sa sarili ko na, oh, come on, Gab, kaya mo yan. Dapat, Checkan mo yung diliman as first choice mo kasi yun naman talaga yung gusto mong school. Well, I don't know sa experience nyo guys but I'm quite sure na meron kayo kahit na isa. So, yeah, feel free to comment that in the comment section below. I would love to read that. Then, maybe kayo pa yung magiging shoutout ko sa next vlog ko. You know? So, let's proceed to number three. Get rid of the irrelevant activities so you can free your time and resources for the critical few that matters. So, Gab, medyo mahaba yun. Can you explain and elaborate that lesson for us? Well, actually, yan yung purpose ng channel natin. So, yeah. Ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin nito? Well, when you say kasi irrelevant activities, ito yung mga activities, yung mga ginagawa natin na Nonsense in the first place. Great example. Scrolling sa social media accounts natin early in the morning. Like after gising talaga. Scroll ka na, scroll ka na, and scroll. That's a very irrelevant activity for me. I don't know para sa inyo ko importante yan. But um, I don't think so. Maybe opening an email is a relevant activity. But um, just browsing and like you know, scrolling your social media accounts, hindi siya irrelevant activity for me. Wait, Gab, early morning pa naman, so pwede naman sigurong gawin yan. Well, um, I don't know kung ganyan kayo, pero like, sa akin kasi, personal take ulit, guys, you know? <laughs> you can use that time to like, um, sleep pa instead of surfing and browsing your social media accounts or you can do exercise instead i i don't know if you guys do that pero while others are sleeping then you can do the things na dapat mong gawin sa umaga or sa hapon let's say for instance exercise and um maligo or magbasa kahit three to five to ten pages lang yan ng libro or anything so while others are sleeping ikaw ay ginagawa mo na yung mga bagay na dapat mong gawin sa umaga. So like basically you're ahead of them when they wake up because like let's say for instance the day starts at 8. So at 8 a.m. sila kakagising pa lang whereas ikaw meron ka nang nagawa. Tapos like there's a lot of studies kasi na nagsasabi na 
mas powerful at mas nakakapag-isip yung utak natin early in the morning kasi fresh pa siya like wala pa siyang masyadong iniisip so like yan yung mga time na nakakapag-isip pa talaga siya ng maigi you know like mga shower thoughts or something like that mga startup thoughts yun all right gets new ba i hope you're, you're getting it you know lastly let's proceed to number 4 A small number of skills are responsible for the majority of your career successes. So, you know, kahit na marami kang alam na gawin, a very few of that thing lang yung magdadala talaga sa iyo sa rurok ng tagumpay. So, that's the four lessons I've learned after reading the book. If you guys want to read it too but too busy to read it, You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you can check in the description down below since meron akong inattach dyan na link para sa audiobook ng libro na to. So I guess yan lang muna for now. If you enjoy or learn something in this video, then feel free to like this and share this to your friends. By doing that kasi you're helping me and my YouTube algorithms which will result to more people na marireach ng videos natin. So mas marami tayong ma-educate. All for one, one for all tayo guys. Uh, financial independence journey natin, right? And also, meron na referral codes sa description down below. Especially for PDAX, Shopbox, Paymaya, Union Bank, and Gcash. Sana gamitin nyo yun kasi like it's a win-win thing din naman. Meron kayong free and meron din ako free. And if you guys want to know more about me, then feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I make updates there almost every day. Thank you so much for watching and sana subaybayan nyo pa ako sa future journey ng buhay ko. Bye! God bless everyone! Per month na challenge natin. You know what I'm saying? Birds chirping, birds chirping. You're a decision away from the life that you dreamed of. Uh, ouch. Basa, basa sinabi doon na, like, nung upkat, I, I decided, like, nung upkat, well, w- when I say kasi irrelevant activities, well, when we say kasi irrelevant activities, ito yung, well, when we say kasi irrelevant activities, ito yung, ito yung, it's there. So yo yo guys don't mind this one since like um dito ko rin kukunin yung mga thumbnails ko in my future videos so yeah <laughs> skip niyo lang to Drive, 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 drive. like shit. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough.